All right, welcome back. So, not uh, too much that needs to go into this video. Working on the repair on this. And as you can see here, what I did is I took where the teeth were missing and I just built up a weld. Hopefully the bead here is large enough that I can get that full tooth form out of, out of it. Uh, I've already done two of the other ones. You can actually see one of them down here and the other one's all the way on the other side. Seem to be coming out uh, pretty well, and so I just need to take this, file down the tops like this, and you know, as you do. What I did is I actually 3D printed, if this will focus, 3D printed a tooth form based off of the drawings for this that is about as close as I can really get for the the actual profile that I need to file out. So what I can do is I can actually set these down and measure the tooth to make sure that everything's matching up. And this kind of gets me close, but because these are worn, the teeth the teeth don't really me mesh properly. So what I've actually been doing with the other ones is I use this to get it down close, and that will make it so that I can get get basically the right shape and then I can take this gear over here and then check how they mesh because this gear here has the exact same pitch and profile for it so and then I just work onto it and take a little bit off at a time while it's going there and that should work it out well so what I've worked on both times so far is I just start by taking this down and I look at the top of it and I've been just watching it carefully until I get down to the uh, height and I do leave a little bit extra because I would like to clean it up afterwards and while I'm filing sometimes there are some mistakes so it uh, scuffs up the uh, top a little bit so I've been getting that mostly filed down on the top to start with leaving a little bit of room and then when I'm finishing up I do a an extra pass. That one looks like it's almost already there actually. This one. Yeah, and this this big file here takes quite a bit off and I need to here this tooth wasn't broken but there was actually a good bit uh worn out of there probably from running it while this had both teeth missing so it kept skipping and it really wore down quick on that so I did add a little bit of weld bead to that one even though it was basically done because I wanted to reface it essentially. Let's switch to a smaller file here so I can get a little bit closer in there and that should top it off and then I have my smallest file here for working on the edges that's got a little bit much material. I can get a little bit of this in there so that I can get some of that bulk material removal from this larger tooth file. And then switch down to this smaller file for getting the final shape in and uh, getting a better surface finish since this really bites in with some large size cuts I mean it's a file where there's a crisscross pattern it's nothing like super deep with these it's not like a rasp but it's still worth switching over to the smaller one to get the fine tooth remove fine amount of removal so that I don't have to so I'm a lot closer to the actual size that I need Looks like even though I did get a good amount on here to kind of fix up the face of that, I didn't get enough on the back. And due to it uh, heating, it kind of sunk down a little bit. But this doesn't really interface across the whole width. If you actually see on the fronts here, it's a little bit of rounding. And that's just so as it goes into place, there's a good place for it to interface. But actually looking at the other the gear that this interfaces it's only got about 80 maybe 90 percent of the entire width of the gear is 
is uh, fully in contact while it's running. So most of that front part isn't uh, interfaced with the other gear in the, anyway. So that's not a huge problem. Also, one thing I've been doing while I've been going around here, some of these other teeth, while they're not exactly damaged, They've been rounded over a little bit, especially it looks like people have tried a couple times engaging this gear while it's rotating. So the front of the, this rounded edge of the teeth here has been uh, it's been a little bit folded over to the top, and I've just been going and cleaning that up just a little bit, make it so that everything meshes nicely and removes some of those sharp edges. definitely not uh has it wasn't treated too well over the years i think i've got almost all of these yeah probably should have i probably could have uh faced this one off a little bit more it's really rounded on this edge but it's still got most of the tooth form this one here almost half of the width of the tooth was missing and there was just didn't really feel comfortable leaving that much uh, missing on it. I'm yeah. also been having to go here, and since I used a MIG welder to get this, there's a lot of splatter, and I've had to clean up the teeth next to it as I've been going as well, since they're not uh, in they they would got uh, covered with the weld spanner I actually need to still use this a little bit more there's a lot of material left to remove here I really built up that face because I didn't want to have any sort of hollow in the sides of this and that would weaken the tooth anyway because we've got two teeth already right next to each other that are welded on and I have this third one that's been welded to build up and hopefully it doesn't cause any issues with strength on that. And now I can actually take this and compare that and I'm most of the way there but still got a little ways to go. And this is Really not a difficult process here. It's just a little bit time consuming and I don't really have the best of files. I have to keep brushing them out to keep them cleared. And this is basically just a cheap Harbor Freight file set that I've had for a while. I don't even remember what I got it for originally. But they work well enough. A small file just loads up really quickly. And by the time I'm done with this, I might have worn out some of the life out of them. But I've always seen that... Uh, People who actually do a lot of filing of, are of the opinion that files are an exp are sort of something that you you go through anyway. They don't. Uh, you're not going to have some a file that lasts forever. If you're using it, you're wearing on it, and there's not really a good way of rebuilding an edge on a file. So that's almost in there. Once this matches up because the front part of this I didn't modify and then the back like two-thirds is where I add on the material so I should be able to just file this down to match on that one and we'll have ourselves a good tooth here which will be really nice because that's uh, it should uh, prevent any more extra stress getting on here from having that previous tooth damaged and I don't want to make more stress on the repaired parts where it might break easier. Now I'm not for sure about that. I don't know. I don't really know my metallurgy too much. These are 
relatively soft steel, so I don't know if they're actually that much harder than uh, eh, the weld is going to be weaker or stronger or anything compared to that. So much spatter on the back of this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually, I did this first, the first, one of these teeth free first, and I was welding this direction, which was a really bad idea because it just sprayed all that weld spatter all along the back towards that. And even worse, I, uh, I did it with a, a rag trying to cover it. A rag which I had just barely used to wipe off the entire gear with uh, acetone. So I immediately start welding and then the rag just bursts into flames. And uh, it didn't really do much to stop this batter anyway. So what I ended up doing after, after welding that without it... So I welded one tooth, so I was spattering a lot, and I realized that uh, I just needed to flip this around and welding back the other direction, even though there was a little bit of spatter coming out and going on the sides of the other gear teeth, there was nearly no spatter onto the inside of the shaft here. This one was the worst, though. So let's see. Let's grab our form here and... There's a little bit in the middle there left. Unfortunately, because these are all so close, I'm not going to be able to check with the uh, check the full width with the other gear until I have them all almost complete. So let's see, is that bit off yet? No, it's still there. I need to. It is the round side so I can get on the inside a little bit. Flat side a little bit so we can... Yeah, as you can see, this is a little bit of a... Do a little bit of filing. Check everything and then... File a little bit more. Okay, there's still a little bit of a lip there. Let me check really quick how this is... Going in, and yeah, it's catching on that lip. That's what I figured. So once I get that lip off of there, this should be good and formed. The right shape. almost there. Yeah, I have to use the back of it here because this small file here is kind of a little bit too flexible. So it's actually it's actually kind of rounding over this way when it's trying to do it. So I use the other side so that I can kind of get that rounded off portion without, without uh, having too much of a trouble with it. And with how small the, it's it doesn't bend much and normally when you're when you're trying to file on something you're always going to hit the high spots but this is such fine work doing a gear tooth that even a little bit of flex there causes it to round all right, that should be enough to get it off. Yeah, it looks good from the profile. And if I bring this tooth in here, it clears the edge. All right, so I think that's enough uh, of me just rambling on for this. Uh, I did say I would make a longer form video. I have that short clip doing one of the other teeth. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to finish this up and then we can move on to getting the last of the stuff out of the headstock and then we'll have disassembly fully complete on this. And from there, we're going to strip the paint off of it, start working on repainting everything and 
getting it all back together. But uh, thanks for watching.